Okay. So, Rafaelo, first question, people know that you kind of were fighting to save a job here tonight, huh? Yeah, it was like me and him, you know, we both come to a loss. I come with like two losses, so it was a lot of pressure. I tried to put the pressure on my back, I take, take it off and try to do my job. I love to do that, you know. And thank God I had the, had the victory, you know. I, I take the heads off for my opponents. It was a really tough fight. He gave me hell, but thank God I could get the win. It wasn't the way I wanted to, but, you know, I got the win I'm happy about. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. How, how was your game plan going in, and how did it, you know, play out now that you have the opponent actually standing in front of you? Yeah, my, definitely my game plan was supposed to take him down and, 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 and grind and, you know, try to finish the fight, try to ground and pound, and, you know, I did, I did. Like, in December, he was really, was a really, like, orthodox, like, different uh, uh, striker. So I wasn't know what was coming. He was faking a lot, and he had the big, rich adventure. And, and also, I hurt my hand, too, like, one month before the fight, my right hand. I broke, and, like, the doctor even said to uh, don't fight. But I want to be part of this huge card, and, you know. And also, I want to say thank you very much for the Brazilian because they pushed me, and I got the win because of them. The energy was so, it was so big, and, you know, uh, thank you, Brazilian people. Love you guys. It looked like a few of your submissions were pretty close. How close did they feel to you? Uh, was you know I don't think it was that close you know I was trying to uh, get the Americana but he was like defending really well I saw his his, his defend uh, submissions was really good so I was kind of worried about because all the time I was trying he was slide the first time I tried in the first round and he slide and he was able to win the round the, the, the problem gave the round for him so I was after I was scared to go for the to 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 try to go for submissions more because to escape and give me problems. It looked like you, uh, you, you know, when you finally got that iron cross at the end, and when you had him secured under your leg and on top, and you started dropping those elbows, did you really, did you smell the blood? Did you think that you were going to pull it off and, and make it happen right there and finish the fight? It was very close to the end of the fight. But. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, you know, yeah, you, right. Uh, that was a good moment. Oh, I can't remember. I always even remember that. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to train a lot of that, that position, but he could escape, you know, but I was trying to feel it. I was trying to go for a triangle right there, but like I say, sometimes you like, you're afraid to go for submission and you, you know, you and, and he, you get the opportunity to your opponent escape and you can lose a... When he finally seemed like he caught you with some strikes in the second round, you were able to time a, a perfect takedown. It seemed like that was a, a big moment in the fight. Yeah, I think the takedown was, was the key of the victory. Uh, he his strike was good, like he I didn't know what's coming. So he caught me a couple of times, but thank God machine I didn't I didn't go down and you know, I look I was just like the game plan was take down, like I'm gonna try to wrestle with this guy, you know, that was the key for the victory. Are you still looking to stay at fifty five? I heard some talk that you were thinking about making a drop to featherweight. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was trying to go for the featherweight the last time but UFC told me to stay fifty five. So I don't know. I don't know, maybe I stay fifty five if you know he's up to Joe Silva. But 55 is all right. What do you want to change or no? Uh, right now, I think after the, the weight cut, I think 55 is all right. I don't want to. <laughs> I love to eat. Luto em casa, Rafael. Você sentiu lutando em casa? Luto em casa. Acho que a torcida ajudou muito. É, a vibração da torcida, a energia, foi muito boa. Eu vi a galera, Brasil, Brasil. E aquilo me puxou. Graças a Deus. E, pô, obrigado, povo brasileiro. Essa vitória é minha, mas vocês também. É, tentei fazer mais coisas, mas infelizmente não, não aconteceu o que eu queria acabar a luta, mas pô, povo brasileiro, vocês, essa, essa pátria, essa raça que vocês têm, meu irmão, vocês é, emotivam a gente muito mais. Tá Obrigado, coração. Estou tô, tô muito emocionado. Tô vendo. E o que que houve com o olho? Tá Foi, ele cortou, eu, 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 eu tive esse acidente antes da... É, tive esse, Acho que levei altas, altas porradas, que levei, é, levei joelhada, levei, levei um murro, acho que tu vai ali, acho que eu tive dois cortes esse e teve na cabeça hum. também. Uau! You know, but é, é, é parte do job, é parte do job. Parte do job, é. I love, I'm not a model, you know, but, so, you know, é... Agora, sabe, agora você vai assistir a luta do ano? Pô, vou, vou lá em cima agora trocar de roupa, tomar um banho, botar aquela beca legal e assistir o ano, se eu sou fã dele. Talk a little bit about your training, because of course you train in Knoxville, do a lot of your training at the Knoxville Martial Arts Academy. Uh, just talk about that, because it's not necessarily an MMA hotbed, you know, it's not where a lot of huge camps are, but talk about the training that you get uh, down south. Uh, I think we're Middle East Tennessee, like we're Middle East Tennessee, yeah. and we have like great, uh, great schools, we have a lot of tough schools. Uh, 
and you know my my uh, my my gene Knoxville Martial Arts Academy KMA we train specifically you know so our, our coach Eric Turner he tried to to give the all attention like private classes and try to sharpen our game and also I trained boxing in the La Folla with professional boxers so you know I think Knoxville like we have great fighters there you know we have a great fighters I have great training partners uh, some guys come to other gyms to spy with me I try to cross training for other, other teams everybody's really friendly you know I love Knoxville I feel like home